We're asked to write each system of equations as a vector equation. Looking at our notes below to do this, we first have to have the equations in standard form, meaning the variable terms on the left and the constants on the right. And then to form the vector equation, we have each variable times a vector or a column matrix where the entries are the corresponding coefficients. And then the sum of these products is equal to a column matrix or vector where the entries are the constants on the right. Looking at our first system, notice the second equation is not in standard form, and therefore we need to add 4x to both sides of the second equation. So the first equation remains the same. And if we add 4x to both sides of the second equation, we have 4x plus y equals 3. And now to begin to form the vector equation, we will write the x terms and y terms in two column matrices on the left, and then we'll write the constants on the right in another column matrix. So the first column matrix will contain, again, the x terms of 3x and 4x, and then plus a second column matrix where the entries are the y terms of 4y and y, let's write y as 1y, equals for the column matrix on the right, the entries are seven and three. And now to finish, we need to factor out the x and y from the two column matrices on the left. Factoring out x gives us x times the column matrix where the entries are three and four, plus factoring out y gives us y times the column matrix with entries four and one. This is equal to the column matrix on the right where the entries are seven and three. And now we have the vector equation that represents the given system of equations. Now looking at the second example, all the equations are in standard form, but the second equation is missing the z term, so it may be helpful to add a zero z term to the second equation. The third equation is missing the x term, it may be helpful to add a zero x term. So let's go ahead and add the missing terms. So the first equation remains the same adding a zero z term to the second equation gives us two x minus three y plus zero z equals eight. And then for the third equation, we will add a zero x term, which gives us zero x plus four y plus seven z equals nine. And now let's write the left side as a sum of three column matrices, where the first column matrix will contain the x terms of x, 2x, and 0x, plus the second column matrix will contain the y terms of 2y, negative 3y, and 4y, plus the third column matrix will contain the z terms, which are negative 3z, 0z, and 7z. This is equal to the column matrix on the right where the entries are the constants of five, eight, and nine. And now we factor out the variables from each column matrix on the left. And again, it might be helpful to write x as one x in the first column matrix. So factoring out x from the first column matrix gives us x times the column matrix where the entries are one, two, zero, plus factoring out y from the second column matrix. We have y times the column matrix where the entries are two, negative three, four, plus factoring out z from the third column matrix, we have z times the column matrix where the entries are negative three, zero, seven. This is equal to the column matrix on the right where the entries are five, eight, and nine. This is the vector equation or vector form of the given system of equations. I hope you found this helpful.